nice to see you guys again um it's been a long time since i did a video we survived the brutal summer um the summer is really my downtime because it's like way 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 too hot and very humid so we survived it we thankfully we did get a lot of rain we had two episodes where we were going to get a, a hurricane it didn't come and then just recently another tropical storm just came by and i was able to collect um some water and i'll show you in a little bit i collected like four canisters for for the harvested water um i just wanted to give you an update on my garden and my plants i mean i haven't all i've been doing in the summer is just you know trying to weed um cutting grass and right now since uh, we had a lot of rain the trees are kind of overgrown so yesterday i was cut half the grass and i did some trimming on my trees and i'll give you an update on what my plan is for the next week but let me turn the camera around and show you uh, i still have the, the debris that i have to take to the front right now it's 12 o'clock it was cloudy earlier i thought it would be nice right now to finish the grass but since i'm not going to have another time i'm just going to have to do it now um but i'll show you what i have been doing it's very probably in the 90s right now i haven't checked the temperature but we did have some clouds but now there hopefully we'll get more clouds okay let me show you the water harvested so i collected these two trash cans from the tropical storm i've been using some of it already because um there's a full one and there's two in the front i did get some patches i'm gonna give a little tour here where all of a sudden everything was green and then it was within a week all this grass died and over there too so it was like really like we're almost in the fall thankfully so let me just show you uh on the side garden everything has survived here this is this is doing this is all good right here on my tropical plants um <clears throat> my papaya tree has grown a lot and here on the side, I just have some melons that grew there voluntarily. One of them is stuck at the bottom, but I have two melons growing right now. Oh. I got this one and this melon right here. They're almost ready. Um, here is some serrano, my serrano plant and my jalapeno plant. And um, here's the side. I did have to trim my roses because they were looking very dry and so I trimmed them. And they have some growth coming already. They do good in the fall. Here's one of them. That's a new growth. I trimmed it last week. My papayas are doing good. Here's another rose. My tree rose. Oh, this one is water. My tree rose. I don't know. It has some growth right there hopefully it'll it'll kick in and crepe myrtles are doing great all these are growing a lot my sage <clears throat> and this little side garden here i planted a new one there my lemon tree my jasmine needs water because i turned off the irrigation since i had rain but i turned it off too many days I'm gonna remove this one and give it to my sister. This is a crepe myrtle because it's like in the in the way of the what is this? I don't know what this is. This grew on its own there, in between the the lemon tree. But yeah, I'm gonna pull this crepe myrtle. I'll give it to my sister. The sage just finished blooming. It had a lot of flowers. They're doing good. My hibiscus is in there. And another crepe myrtle bush. We got a bunch of dragonflies. And here's my papaya. I got a lot of growth. And on my orchard, this is where I trimmed them. Look at all my debris. Okay, um, here's my orchard. That I, I, I trimmed them yesterday evening when this, it was like 7.30, almost getting dark. So I trimmed all this area here. This is a new guayaba tree that my cousin Joe gave me. And it was all brown and stuff, but thankfully it has growth. Yeah, so it's it's still alive. My cousin will be happy to hear that. Um, here is my peach tree. 
I trimmed all this bottom up just to limb it up. I think I'm gonna trim that one too and the little that branch in the bottom. My grapefruit tree it grew a lot. And this is another peach tree. I also trimmed. I didn't get a chance to trim this wayava because it's kind of growing to the side. It doesn't have a main a main trunk since it had died back during the freeze. So it's coming back, but I need to see if I can train it to go up. If not, it's just going to be like a bush. We'll see. Both of my fig trees are doing great. I trimmed the bottom of them. They have a little rust and they, they still have peaches. We harvested a lot of peaches. I mean peaches, sorry. <laughs> a lot of figs and they're bringing some more, some more peaches. This is the biggest harvest we've had on peach, on figs. Here's the other one. My Texas olive. Here it is. I trimmed a bunch of it because it was getting like too wide and dry on the side. So we took all that. I need to trim this way, Ava. <clears throat> From the bottom, this two, this two, this two branches I'm going to remove. Here's my sky flower plant. It's a bush. It has this little purple flowers. It's covered with butterflies. <clears throat> so I don't know how to trim it. Or when is the right? I have to research and when is the best time to trim it. And um, here is some papayas. There's two papayas in this flower bed. And there's a lemon tree right here, which has a lot of growth as well. Um, and there's a rose in there as well. It's a pink rose. Let's see. There's the rose. <clears throat> and I have this tree that my brother gave me. It also, it was like a little branch a few months ago. And now it's got all this growth. Not sure what it's called. My plumongo, they're not in bloom. They're not in bloom, but they're really happy. And here's part of the shade, the shade garden. Here's my ferns. And uh, the the hostas died. It was too hot for them. And but the gardenia, this is our gardenia is doing good. And these plants, they're tropical plants. And here is another sky flower which I need to trim as well. I trim my lemon. Well, this thing, I don't know what it is. It's supposed to be an orange tree, but it's never given me any any uh, fruit as in flower, so I don't think it's gonna give me this year. <clears throat> All right, here's the avocado. The avocado it has growth, but it's kind of struggling. It doesn't have a lot of growth, but uh, the bananas. Oh, here's a hummingbird bush. Um, and the banana trees, which I planted them in the wrong location. I didn't know, I should have given them more room, but I didn't know how much they spread. They spread a lot. Okay, so here's one more banana. There's three, but like this one already grew another one on the side. It hasn't had a flower yet, so I don't know if it's going to give me the banana, but look what happened with all these cannas. I'm not sure if it was because because of the banana or I just need to, I probably need to trim them. There's another hummingbird bush. So this is one of my favorite areas here. <clears throat> and here is my magnolia, one of my magnolias. Doing okay so far, still has growth. And I have a rose in here and this is where my anaqua my anaqua tree I might limb it up to it's doing really good and ma the marigolds that I planted along they did awesome these I got were clearance plants at Walmart so they did really good they still have some flowers and there's a mango tree in here let me see like oh yeah there's a mango right there and then there's uh, the bottle brush I have like four of them that we thought was gonna die. And I have a Mandi Manda, Mandavilla. There's two Mandavilla plants in there. Let me see. Uh, there's one right there. <clears throat> so my hibiscus grew a lot. Look at this hibiscus. It doesn't, you can't even see the other plants behind it. 
And I just recently pruned all my roses. I just need to fertilize them. So they have a lot of new growth. That's my jasmine, the daisies. And here's another rose. That's a lot of growth. Vincas. And I love this tree. I did limb it up as well. <laughs> it's growing. I need to probably limb some more of them. <clears throat> Trim it some more. And there's a lot of this little succulents growing in here, which is great for my daisies. And the candle, it's called the candle, candlelight tree. This one grew on its own there. I love it. It's doing great. Another rose, which I haven't trimmed this one. I need to trim this one. And I had trimmed these two and they're doing awesome. Here is um, Robina, but I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna remove this Robina from here. And let me give you an update on the tea tree that I just found that, that we thought had died. Look how big it's getting. <clears throat> it's in flowers and it gets a lot of bees. Isn't it pretty? Okay. So plans for next week is that I'm gonna make a sidewalk here on the side garden. I'm gonna start it off right here and then all the way towards the back to the gate because the grass gets here so very thick and really there's no purpose to it. Um, I, I just wanna make, so the sidewalk is gonna run four feet from here, four feet wide and like 47 feet long. And this area here along the fence is where I'm going to put some garden, some beds, some like to grow vegetables and lettuces. Right now the fall is coming so we can start planting um, cabbages, broccoli, lettuces, parsley, cilantro, radishes, everything that we planted in spring, like tomatoes, squash, bell peppers, all that stuff can be planted in the fall. And that's my plan to have it a little more protected here because this gets shade in the afternoon, morning sun, and then shade the rest of the day. So it'll be more protected because the heat is brutal here. So yeah, this is going to be an area where I'm going to put my, my sidewalk here. And so I'll give you a before and after. And today I'm just going to trim. I'm going to keep trimming the trees, finish cutting the grass. The, chi the vitex, this is a vitex. It's doing so good. Look at these flowers. And it smells so pretty. Yeah. So I'm going to trim it from the bottom. I'm going to trim this crepe myrtles. It's really hot right now, so I don't know if I'm going to start cutting the grass. I'm going to wait. Yeah, I'm going to trim them a little bit from the bottom, but they're doing great here in this area. This is the most they've grown this year. All right, guys, so I'll give you an update when they start doing the sidewalk. And hopefully I'll be able to, to start my, my garden beds here to plant my vegetables. If not, I'll just have to wait till spring. But that's my plan for the week. All right, guys, you have a good evening. Have a good day. See you later. Hello, guys. So I came home this evening after work, and this is a process, progress on my sidewalk. We did all the forms. It's going to come all the way over here and all the way here. I'm excited about it. Hopefully tomorrow they'll come in and pour the concrete.